first thing first you are not the other person you are unique you're special and you are different and that is what makes you you Hey people, what's up? How are you doing? Hope you're good. It's Amdele I today in this year, aka WT and some of you and you are welcome back to my channel. Now if you're just seeing my face for the first time, you're welcome to the channel. It's a channel of happy people. <laughs> so just do us that favor of hitting that subscribe button down below. It's right here, the red button right here that says subscribe. And the very right beside this, so you stay notified. Once I drop a new video, you'll be the first to see it. So we see for you guys, and this year. I have not done that, so we're gonna do that right now. Shall we? <laughs> we are happy people, yes, we love you, you are welcome. We are happy people, yes, we love you, you are welcome. We the double T farm, we are full of happy people, yes. We spread joy, peace, happiness, check it. <laughs> Alright, so please, as you've clicked this video to watch, and just continue or finish that before you started by subscribing. Also, to my regular WT fan members, you guys, you know we do right. Oh yeah, shall we? Hey, it's a me, Baoni, oh, Shewa. Eh, le, 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 Shewa. Eh, hey, it's a me, Baoni, oh, Shewa. Eh, le, 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 Shewa. Hey, it's a me, you guys, too. You know, you guys are good. I miss you guys. Like, what's the music gone? Do you guys miss me? Yes, I'm back to filming. I know. It's been a while and like, this is my first official video this year. Like, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> happy New Year fam. Yes, happy new year. I know. It's like a month and five days into the new year and your girl is just shouting Happy New Year. Well, well <laughs> I mean that's why they call me WT, right? Anytime you wake up is your morning. So this is the time I just like posting videos. So happy new year. <laughs> Hope it's not too late to say that. <laughs> Happy New Year, guys. How's your New Year been? How's the first month? How's the second month been? Hope you're already smashing those goals, as I say. <laughs> like, just me in the comment section. What has been going on? Anyway, see, let me know what's your time today. This is a new year, and the plan is to keep it short, simple, and straight to the point. Amen. As for my chit chat videos, they'll be short and straight to the point. So, today. <laughs> Alright, so I said this is my first official video, but that does not mean I've not posted anything this year. I posted my birthday vlog like a few weeks back, so if you've not watched it, you should go check it out. My birthday was last month. Yay! 16th January was my birthday, and thanks to the amazing people who decided to surprise me, even though I decided not to do anything for myself. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Go check out the vlog. So, having said that, let's get right to the Shall we? Hey. All right. So the plan is to make this video a very short one. <laughs> so I was just be talking about five different aspects of our lives that becomes really crucial by the time you enter your twenties and you're going upwards. Like by the time you leave your teenagers, these are aspects of your life that we begin to struggle with and we begin to to try to find a balance with as we turn twenty, twenty one. And try when you begin to leave the twenty three when you know you're like, what. You're seven away from 30. Like, what? Do you guys? That's when it's eating up. Eh, babe? No time to sleep again. Like, if you're in there, you're like, wow, we need to wake up. Yes. So, five aspects of our lives that I want to talk about that I believe every 23 year old who is living in Nigeria and is a student can relate to. The first one is uh, relationship. The second is friendship. The third, I know you say, why am I doing relationship and friendship? But I want to leave it like that relationship friendship academics spiritual life and financial life yes so we'll start with relationship so you're 23 you turn 23 and you don't have a boo you don't have a baby <laughs> by the time you're 23 and you realize that you're still alone some of us tend to put a lot of pressure on ourselves yes and most times this pressure in a way it comes from social media i mean you see a lot of relationship goals, you see a lot of boyfriend goals, girlfriend goals, relationship goals, hashtags, you see all, all, all pictures, cute pictures and everything and it's like 
you begin to ask yourself questions like, what's wrong with me? Like, shame will find me. Am I not beautiful? Did I not carry me? Am I not handsome? Ah, ah, is my pot really the problem? Like, you begin to ask yourself questions and then you begin to feel so little of yourself if care is not taken. Yes, it begins to affect your self esteem because you begin to compare yourself to people you see on social media. And trust me, social media is just glam. Like, everybody is fine on Instagram. Yes. Everybody is beautiful, everybody has money, everybody has car, everybody has everything on social media. So, the pressure from social media coupled with close friends that your age mates that have one relationship or two, like they have relationship, they have relationship goals, that post their pictures and everything. And if you have friends like mine, eh, now when they have relationship, they will not like progress, they will be giving you back to back on social media. It tends to get to you if you're not careful, if you're not able to sit down and figure it out like is this really the most important thing for me right now yes we can like to push it aside and be like whoa it's not a relationship we'll be okay last last but we can't ignore the fact that every now and then we get that thought of is something wrong with me am i not beautiful where exactly is wrong like why is nobody looking at me or why can't i find someone who admires me and who takes me for who i am sis bro i'm here to tell you that you should calm down yes calm down i know it's very easy to say and it's like hey first she say that she might have that she just calm down like take it easy i know you're 23 i know you want to get everything right and everything just calm down take it one step at a time she yeah don't worry the right person is going to find you like you're very beautiful you're awesome nothing i mean nothing is wrong with you trust me nothing is wrong with you you just not met the right person when you do ah if you yourself, you, you would know that yes, you have. And I think added to that fact is the fact that growing up, a lot of us already have this um, plan for our lives. We have the old, I'm done with secondary school at age 15, I enter university by age 19 at least. I'm done with school, I want to go from NYC, I'll go for masters, and then I'll get married, I'll start working. Like, we all have our plans, so trust me. It doesn't work that way <laughs> like it does not work that way like this is life trust me it does not always work that way i mean if anybody told me a few years when i was secondary school that i was going to be <laughs> in 400 level at a 20 tv i probably would <laughs> throw you punch yes that's how like life can naturally change so there's nothing wrong with you trust me there's nothing wrong with you but then you meet that special somebody that special somebody that will treat you right you know there's nothing wrong with you I know it feels like you don't have time. I know it feels like time is going. I mean, you're seven away from 30. But trust me, take your time and enjoy this your moment of single. Because trust me, you won't always have it forever. Once you enter that relationship like this, you would begin to wish you had that your single to appreciate. So appreciate it while you still have it. Moving on to friendship. Yes. Now, um, I was watching to see a quest video month like last month yes few days my birthday and let me just say this had a lot of overthinking to do few days my birthday i mean like i said i was turning 23 and it felt like fam girl you need to do something do you guess you need to figure out your life so, like, this is a lot of overthinking that made me too overwhelmed like for the first time i wasn't so happy few days to my birthday because of the overthinking i did i told myself compare myself to a lot of people i told myself like wishing I was in a certain position in my life, but trust me, I have to tell myself, baby, get calm down. Anyways, I was watching to see your first video, and it, one of the things she talked about, I think that was at 2019, I think she learned in 2019. I was trying to like link that for this particular video, mention box so you can check it out. So, one of the things she talked about was friendship, how she had to like let go of some people. Yes, trust me, as you're 2023, you feel the need, you get to that point where it's like. You can't be having too many friends like there's no point having 1000 friends that when you're in need you can't place a call to them one of them and say oh babe i need this that will come through for you like if you have a thousand of friends and 10 of them cannot come through for you when you are in need then see pack all of them and throw them away like this is not that time this is not that era this is not that age where you begin to take things like friendship for granted if you have just five friends i know these five friends you guys do everything together you pray together you study together you grow together you share common interests trust me those five friends alone are better than you having 1000 friends are basically useless yes like this is something i had to learn 
naturally I'm someone with a small circle. I don't have a big circle of friends. But as I thought when theory, I came to the realization that I still need to cut away from that small circle I have. Yes, like I needed to still cut away from people. And these are people that were feeding me bad energy. These are people that they had a problem with everything I do. If I wear a cloth, it is a problem. If I wear a particular kind of sneakers or a particular type of shoe, it's a problem. Like it was going to get to me mental. And these people would not caution you or they would not speak to you in, in private. They would rather chastise you, they rather call you out in public where there are several people and just basically try to embarrass you there and try to make fun of you. And then when you try to feel bad and everything, they turn you to, oh, I was just joking. I mean, how do you joke with people's feelings? If you have friends who are like that, who find it very, very funny to joke with your feelings, who find it very, very funny to speak and eat that your button, that your self-esteem button, then trust me, you don't need those friends in your life. Like, you don't need them. Couple going down because someone, yes, that's what I'm trying to do. It's not going to be easy, actually, if you've known this person for years. Trust me, it's not how long. It's how well. I bet this it. It's not how far. It's how well. I bet this say it. You guys get the point. It's not how far. It's how well. It's not how long. <laughs> it's how well. <laughs> so it's not how long. It's not the length of the friendship. It's how productive, how efficient, how reliable, how supportive is that friendship. See, any friendship that is affecting your sense of reasoning, any any friendship that is affecting your peace of mind. And any friendship that's affecting your your growth, any friendship that's affecting your happiness, please pack the friendships and show them away. You don't need them. As you turn 23, it's something I've come to realize. You don't need them, fam. You don't need them. And let me also add this to that friendship aspect. Trust me, as you are throwing people away, people have a right to also throw you away. This is something I got from that your first video. Like it hits me, I should not lie. Because it felt like, yes, see. People are not the only toxic people to you. Also toxic to some people. Some people also find you as an influence in your progress. And it's okay for them to decide to cut you off. Same way it's okay for you to decide to cut any other person off. Yes. It's a matter of if you're not going together, if your life is not impacting me positively, if I'm not learning from you, if there's nothing I can take away from our one year, two years of friendship, then there's no need. Cut me off, I'll cut you off. It's okay. There's no beef. We can see between I, I, but that closeness is not there. Do you get? So it's okay for people to cut you off and it's okay for you to cut people off. That's one thing I learned, Tony's twenty theory. Yes. Let's speak about spiritual. Yes. Um around that time I was to clock twenty theory. I told you I did a lot of thinking. And one of the things I thought about was my relationship with God. I knew I had to improve. I knew I had to get to know you the more. And yes. This is the best time for you to do it. This is the best time for you to build your relationship with God. Because trust me, without God, you are N-O-T-H-I-N-G. You are nothing. Yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing without God. So it is important for you to build your relationship with God. You can download books, manuals that you can use for your daily devotionals that you can use to like let it might be one chapter daily, it might be a verse daily, it might be two verses daily anyhow you want it pray daily sing praises to god just make sure you're in tune now this is me talking and flowing and advising and everything it's not like my relationship with god is at 100 percent but daily and constant practice daily and constant effort to get close to him is what i'm saying Yes, don't be satisfied with where you are spiritually. I am not satisfied. In fact, if I tell people I am the least spiritual person you would ever meet. Yes, because I feel like there's still a far, far end I need to get to. There's, there are still a lot of things I still need to know about God. There's still that level I still need to get to in my relationship with Him. Until I'm there, I'm, I'm far from being there. <laughs> if you understand what I mean. I go to academic and career life. So, as a 23 year still a student. If you are like me, and for some of us, we are done schooling. <laughs> but for those of us still in school, you are at that particular point. In fact, so even if you're not in school, at a 23, you are at that particular point where it's like you want to figure out everything. Like you are trying to get it right. You don't want to make a mistake. You are trying to find out your calling, your purpose, God's plan for your life. You are trying to, you are trying to find out where God actually wants you to be, and it's okay. 
but guess what it is also okay for you not to know these things at this age yes i'm saying this because i have actually put so much pressure on myself in the past weeks in trying to figure out what i want to do presently see i'm jack of all trades i am doing so many things you want me to market for your market you want me to advertise for your advertise you want me to create content for your create content you want me to right for you okay i'm a very lazy writer about right for you if it comes to making videos if it comes to selling things if it comes to branding if it comes to you get ip and putting your market on blast basically um i saw recharge cards i saw data um i'm basically trying my hands on several things and trust me it can be overwhelming because at this age i'm trying to figure out what i want to do but trust me it is okay for you not to do it it's okay for you not to even know what you are called to do at this particular age it's okay for you not to have figured it out don't kill yourself don't bite yourself don't don't be hard on yourself because you are at this particular age and you still haven't figured it out for yourself trust me you will be baby girl guy <laughs> bro trust me you will figure it out at the end of the day we can figure it out together <laughs> is not a bad thing you're not alone there are people like me yes <laughs> that are with you in this journey so no you're not alone we're all trying to figure it out until you do you can keep trying your hands on several things but there's nothing wrong with you absolutely nothing wrong with you it's okay for you not to have figured it out by now absolutely 100 percent okay all right so moving on to academics and now this is me talking about a 23 year old who is a student so now you are a student and you have your academics. So you are trying to combine academics, your career life and everything. I'm really exhausting. Especially if you're in a school that <laughs> wakes you up <laughs> for 7 a.m. classes and everything. And then you do 7 to 6 and then after 6 o'clock you are going to church and everything. It's going to be really exhausting. But it has to do with time management. You know how to manage your time. I'm not the best with time management. Let me not lie. <laughs> let me not lie i am not the best with time management but trust me if you can caution yourself and if you can discipline yourself yes that's the word you'll be able to manage your time wisely and you'll be able to effectively achieve a number of things i like sleep <laughs> let me not like sleep i love sleep <laughs> but there's sometimes i sit and i'm like babe is this sleep you're supposed to be sleeping now or we should be doing something else do you guys understand so it's all boys down to discipline. You have to be able to discipline yourself to be able to manage your time effectively. An idea of something you can do to manage your time effectively is for you to wake up in the morning after your period, after everything you need to do. Just write a list of what you want to do, to do list, what you want to achieve in that day. I try to do it every now and then, but trust me, like I said, I'm not the best at this thing. But I know so well that whenever I try to do it, it helps. It helps a lot. So make a list of what you feel you want to do in that day and at the end of the day look at that same list and try to tick out the ones you're able to do and then see if you're able to get at least 18 90 percent then you can clap for yourself if not you know you need to do better let me also have this procrastination deal with it i'm still fighting with it but we need to deal with it procrastination is the thief of time work on procrastination stop procrastinating stop procrastinating and Stop procrastinating. Yawola okola. <laughs> All right, stop procrastinating. Trust me. I'm saying you should stop because I also know I should stop. And I'm talking to myself too. Stop procrastinating. Anyways, moving on to the last but not the least financial aspect. I feel like that's the last thing, right? So financial aspect now. <laughs> like I said, yeah, not going to to figure out anything, and everybody needs money. But while you're trying to do everything, while you're trying to get to that particular point where you have money, everybody wants to be successful and rich, make sure you're doing everything the right way. Make sure you're not doing illegal, illegal business. Because trust me, this is that age where the old thoughts of being a Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo Plus, scammer, scammer, sleeping and doing sugar daddies and everything. This is where you get that thought a lot. This is where. You are tempted like i said we're in the age of social media the instagram twitter snapchat facebook and everything we're in that age where everybody is putting out things for the ground everybody's putting out things just everybody's rich everybody's successful in social media so if you're going to pattern your life by that and say oh because this person 
appear successful on Instagram, then I also need to do something to also with that person. Trust me, you don't know what the person is doing. You don't know how the person is getting that money. You don't know how the person is living into her life. You don't even know if the person is faking it. If the person is borrowing clothes to show you on Instagram. If the person wants to go and see car to show you on Instagram, you don't know. <laughs> Funny thing is, most times in real life, you're actually much more better than these people you compare yourself to on Instagram. Just be you. Be yourself. Yes, be yourself. Trust me. Nothing is better. Nothing is as good. Nothing is as dope. Nothing is as hey. Nothing is as great eh? as you being yourself. You don't have to join the trend. What I mean, you don't have to join the trend. I mean, because other people are doing it, doesn't make it the right thing. Figure out what is right and do what is right. I don't know if that makes sense yet. So, yes, that's all I want to talk about. I really hope I did not miss any points. If I did, I'm sorry, I'll be completely the conversation. Anyways, what do you guys think? How, do you, how have you been living your life since you turned 23? What are the advice tips you can give a 23 year old student that's living in Nigeria or anywhere in the world? A 23 year old lady, guy, what are the advice you can give them? Let us know in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like this video if you love it. Don't forget to leave a comment, don't forget to share, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. I mean, if you want to do it to this point, then don't subscribe. Why? <laughs> Can I know why? Please hit that subscribe button. I'm waiting. I'll count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so that's all for this video. I want to make this video as short as possible, and I really hope I was able to do that. I'll see you guys in my next video.